Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Ocarina and Fire here. So, I've been playing a ton of the Titanfall Alpha that was released to a limited amount of people through EA over this week. And, uh, and I've gotten level 10, I've put about 4 or 5 hours into it just playing it, and I absolutely love this game, you know. I'll give you some of my opinions and thoughts, even though I'm not at liberty to give uh, the major details away, but I'll do the best I can to try to convey my excitement because I had a blast playing this uh Alpha. It gave us a couple maps, a couple guns, let you play around with some stuff, and it was absolutely awesome. You know, it was fast paced, there's uh, multiple levels of maps, it was, it kind of, it com combined the pace of Call of Duty, put it on steroids, made it even faster, made it even more um, fun. You know, Battlefield, how it has like the multi layered, multi uh, leveled maps. And it had like the sci-fi with the max and all that. I mean, it's just it was just cool. I mean, the bots are and right now, but the thing was just it was just awesome. I had a ton of fun playing it. If you like Call of Duty, you're gonna absolutely love this game because it's Call of Duty on steroids. I mean, visually it was all right, but I mean it's an alpha, so they said 25% of its final build was what we got. And if that's 25% of what my final game's gonna be like, that's outstanding. So. I had a ton of fun playing this game. A quick update, you know, I can't give too much, but I just want to reassure the people out there that this game is going to be something. You know, you hear from the gaming press that this game is going to be good. You never really hear anything from actual gamers, but actually playing this game, getting my hands on it, even though how limited it was, the game was a blast. It was a ton of fun, and it deserves all the hype it's going to get. I mean, I'm sure some people out there with this hype are expecting the greatest game ever, but this game's definitely a battlefield killer. It's definitely a Call of Duty killer. And I gotta say, Halo 5 really needs to step its game up because I absolutely love Halo. I'm a Halo fanboy, a Halo apologist. You cannot say anything wrong about Halo. Some people hated Halo 4. I loved Halo 4. Probably just because it was the fourth Halo game and we had to got another Halo game for five years. But this game is going to be great. And if Halo 5 doesn't re-energize this franchise, I can see Titanfall quickly taking over and being what Gears of War was to the Xbox 360. It's like main app is go-to title for the uh, foreseeable future. So that's all I got. Quick video. One of was tell some of my excitement about Titanfall because after this playing itself, I am completely on board with it. You know, it's a little bit uh, less than two months away from being released, and um, they got a little bit more work to do on it. But all things are uh, looking good. All signs pointing up. It's looking good. I had a blast playing it. Can't wait until uh, you all have uh, get a chance to play it yourself. I was lucky enough to play this alpha. I can't say again how lucky enough I was to play this alpha. So if people at Respawn are watching, hope I didn't give away anything too much. And thank you for letting me have the opportunity to play this game because it was awesome. So that's all I got. I'm going to go back to playing it some more. Ocarina of Fire checking out. Have a good one.